there. Let's see what that's gonna. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a silver ring. He's got a YouTube channel called, I love the name of it, Stinking Lincoln, out of all names, because that's what we dig most of. So tell us a little bit, uh, Spencer, about where we're at today. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, so we're, we're at a site that actually dates back to the Texas land grant phase. Um, it's an old uh, working sor sorghum farm, and uh, the, the landowner has had this property in his family since that time. Um, the house, I would estimate, would have been built around 1850 to 1870. Um, so we're looking for some 1800s history today. Hopefully we can uh, link up with some, some good old history here. Yeah, some flat buttons, some seeded coins maybe. Yep. I've dug a button so far. He's got a uh, he's got an old looking thing. I got this little piece here. I don't know if that's part of a thing that goes on the end of a flag and they put it in a flag or what, but it's uh, pretty old looking. Spencer's got this uh, nice looking little I think it's part of a picture frame or some something. So, some we haven't been here maybe 20, 30 minutes. Uh, so we're gonna search out. Maybe there's got to be some old silvers in here. Wouldn't you like to get a silver? Oh yeah, I I'm love to get a big silver. For some I get <laughs> sat down today, so let's get to swinging. <laughs> I haven't found too much other than that spike and that button and uh, some other odds and ends, a lot of trash. But check this out. Here's a tool, some type of tool, laying right on top of the ground. I wonder what that went to. I've never seen that. That's uh, that dates this period of this land because this is wrought iron. This is hammered out. You can see all the hammer marks on it. That's a nice find. Old relic. And keep that. I was detecting underneath this tree and just thought this was a limb, but these are thorns. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. There we go. I was detecting here and all these thorns. I don't know what kind of tree this is. But man, I would hate to run into that. You can make a crown of thorns that they put on the Lord's head out of these things. These things would hurt. Man, they would hurt. I just don't know why my camera is not going to focus. Yeah, put my hand behind it. You can see it better. Wow, that would hurt. That'll poke an eye out too. If a tree could speak, this one is screaming, don't climb me. Hey, you like to climb that tree. Look how long that is. That's a that's that's a foot long. I've never seen such. Still working around these big old thorn bushes. I just never seen thorns that big. But anyway, it was getting a 2122. I'm not bending down because it, we got like two or three inches of rain here and the ground's all wet. But I ended up digging this. And if I'm not mistaken, that is going to be a powder flask top. <laughs> that goes on the top of it. And this is the valve that closes it off. And so that dates back, that puts us back there of that period age of the mid-1800s, late, mid, well, 1840s, I think, when the land grant uh, Spencer said. That'd definitely be powder flask period. Still up here by the uh, thorn trees. Take Spencer's over there in the, in the trees. Got a 2122 here, and 
Still in the coin ball. Looks like a coin or it could be a token. There it is. What's that going to be? I love the way it looks in a coin ball, don't you? Let's see if we can pop this. Come on, be a coin. No. <laughs> Bazinga. It's just going to be a washer. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, you got to dig it all, though, right? Spencer just found a, uh, a buckle. I'm thinking that's going to be definitely 1800s. Get a picture of it, look it up in the buckle book later. Yeah, good find, man. Yeah, where's the silver at? Is it out here? <laughs> we gotta get it, we gotta get to it. It's somewhere, isn't it? I need a silver call. Yeah, something. we need one. Let's go find it. Yeah, we didn't get a whole lot, did we? No, no coins. I can't believe we didn't get a stinking Lincoln at all. I can't believe it. I mean, usually, even you find modern coins yeah. from people coming through here, but but this is my last dig on this side here. We hunted it pretty good and found just a lot of relic stuff, but this is a Victorian period uh, gonna be, I don't know if it's gonna be something for the hat or a brooch. I don't see no pin on it for a brooch. So I'm thinking it may be for the hair, but that's nice. That's always cool to dig. All right, what do you think moving on to the next place? I think we found a lot of the right time period stuff here, but we didn't find a lot of the right stuff that we wanted yeah uh, so i think there's, there's but this kind of stuff is cool though yep good relic stuff we'll find some better stuff on the next spot yeah maybe we'll get us a stinking lincoln how about it yeah <laughs> let's go we moved on from the other spot we got this house here and some more houses on the road check that house out right there that's really cool but uh, spencer's thinking he's got a buffalo nickel so let's go see what he's got yeah i think this is actually going to be even older than a buffalo you got a V-nickel. I think we do have a V-nickel That's here. a V-nickel, I can yeah. tell you right now. Yep, there's There's your stars. Face. Facing to the left. Let's see if we can get the classic Roman numeral five insignia. There it is, right I see it. there in the middle. Check that out, man, congratulations. Thanks, it's a good All start. All right, that's got some good stuff here then. Heck yeah. All right, you're on the good side of the yard. Yeah. I'm over here on the side of the house. Spencer's hitting the front yard. He just got that V-Nickel 1911, and I just got a Buffalo. And there she is, in good shape too. There's the back of it. And let's flip it over, and I bet it's a 1937 if we get a date off of it. What do you bet? I'll go 1928. I can't tell. Maybe, <laughs> maybe with your younger eyes, you can, you can tell. They nice. always seem to be like a 1937. Nice green patina. It's right underneath the neck there. It's hard to see. Yeah, it's really hard to focus in. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I see a zero on there, but not sure. Or 1919, one of the two. One of the two. Go back to like 19... 19, yeah, 1913 to 1937, 38. Yeah. Yeah, this is an early one though. I went to go put my buffalo nickel up in my thing and I saw the coin uh, impression and I picked it up and another buffalo was stuck to it. So I got a buffalo herd spill here. Check that out. Both in great shape too. Two buffaloes. Two wow. buffaloes right there. Beautiful. And I've never seen buffaloes come out so not red like this. These are in actually yeah. very good shape. That is awesome. So there's one. And then there's two. Just not too far from where I got those other two buffaloes, about, I guess, 10 feet straight across. I think I got another one. I don't know if it's a buffalo or a V-nickel. So let's look at it. About six inches deep. It's going to be a buffalo. You can see. There he is, right there. Boy, that's a in great shape. These are the best buffalo nickels I've ever dug. There it is. Put him up there. Get a picture with the other ones. It's probably at best but maybe Well, Spencer is saying he's got something in the hole. Let's see what he's got. Right there in the corner. Oh yeah, that's going to be a clad half. No, I don't know. 
I'll let you reveal it. Right. It's definitely a coin looking. He's gonna get set up. All right, got big and round in the hole. Not gonna make any prior judgment. I see some holes in it. Could it be clock internals. Oh no, I know what that is. It's one of those homemade tokens. Yeah, uh, I think it's a Boy Scout uh, badge or something. No, it's a, a it's a personalized token. They had a, a machine that made these. Oh really? Yeah, you'll see there'll be some names on them. Or it's a sheriff badge, a, a toy Ooh, sheriff badge. I'll cover that up. <laughs> Hey, give away I saw spots. that I saw that ridge right there thinking <laughs> he could have your know, silver here. Yeah. That's a good find though. Yeah, a lot of times they say like, you know, good luck on them and stuff. That might be what it says there in the middle. Yeah, it looks like uh, a, sometimes they have names, but that's not the name. I think that's a toy badge. Yeah. I think it says or it's a or a, it may have the, the sheriff that was running. It may be a G fifty W L L A S. Huh. I'll have to clean it up and see. Pretty cool. Now this is cool. I'm covering up a name because we don't want to give away the name. But Connolly something and uh, it's definitely a Watch Dallas Grow. It's a, it's a cool looking token. Well, congratulations, man. I'll Let me go see it, if man. I can go find Happy something. <laughs> <laughs> well, Spencer's saying he's got uh, a nickel. And it's right over here where I found my three. So uh, let's see what he's got. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Oh, dog, it, man, you got a V-nickel. Uh-huh. You got a V, and I needed a V, and you needed a buffalo. Oh, congratulations, man. It's right above my thumb, right there, 1897. 1897. Beautiful coin. And I dug one buffalo right there. No, it was right there, and then two right over there. And I missed my V-nickel. We got four v-nickels total for this little spot here <laughs> three buffaloes four, and two v-nickels or old yeah that's awesome five all together well you know that's this is just a great case of explaining how if the site's been hit already go through and dig those low tones yeah. because somebody came through and they dug all the quarters and the high tones they're still good for i just walked pounds. right here and missed it yeah <laughs> so you got it you needed a buff and i needed a v though so yeah all right let's keep swinging so we can find some more Spencer and I came over and he door knocked on a 1920s house, but it looks like a mid 1800s house. Check this out. We're fixing to go hit the backyard and come back and do the front. Maybe we'll get some silver this time. Well, we did the backyard, didn't find anything. We come up to the front yard, got a 28 and just popped it up. It's going to be a mercury dime. And it's going to be a, what year is that going to be? 1941. 1941 Mercury Dome. Alright, let's maybe there's some more, some older ones in here. Just got that Merc, just got a weedy, and now I got a silver ring. Oh yeah. Right there. Let's see what that's gonna. Yeah. I think that's gonna be a silver ring. Ring it up like a 30. Yeah, that's going to have some writing on it. Let me clean this up and see what this is. Boy Scout ring. Sweet. Like a silver Boy Scout ring. I'm going to say Cubs on it. Cub Scout, I should say. Nice. Yeah, so check that out. 60s or something? Yeah. It's got the wolf on there. Yeah. All right. Well done. That'll work, man. Just pop this up. Ring it up like a 28 to a 30. Uh, it's about four inches deep. Uh, I think it that's wood. That's wood right there. So I think it's just going to be part of a, uh, a, a flag or something. Some type of end of a, a, a flagpole or the top of a flagpole. Well, the two. About five, six inches deep. I see a little bit of green sticking through. Let's see if we got an Indian here. It's going to be Indian vibes. Oh, yeah, it's going to be an Indian. Is it Indian? Yeah, I think so. Well, no, wait, let me. Looks like a weedy. Oh, man, it is. Yeah. I thought I saw it. <laughs> yeah, that's what you say. There. I didn't want to rain on your parade, but it looked like a, like a, like a oh, uh, man. weedy. I've dug several of those already. Well, I've just been playing around in here, going back over, and I'm glad I did because I came back and got a, it sounded like a penny signal, and I dug it up anyway. It was on the edge, and it's going to be another mercury dime. It looks like it's going to be a newer, newer one. 
1940 is that 42 41 I don't know I don't even know 40 it's 40s all right let's get a picture and keep going 1941 same one I did another one's right there and here's a 41 Merc 241 Mercs and we did it we finished the day we started a little slow but ended up doing pretty good and uh, thanks to your door knocking experience and I appreciate you bringing me up too and let me hunt with you and get to know you a little bit better hey I'm happy to have you I, just like I said you know, I'm in, just as excited to see other people find things as I am myself y'all make sure y'all check out stinking Lincoln that's who he is stinking Lincoln what an original name you know we never dug those in our lifetimes <laughs> have we uh, we dug a few of those today but uh, we found a few things it came on strong at the end and uh, but he would be the weedy king and uh, he got the oldest nickels I got the only silvers and uh, I got buffaloes he got the nickels so we, we, let me show you what we got this is all my trash uh, this is all we dug mainly at the front that front of that first uh, site that we're on and then here are my finds I found this wrought iron you got hammered yeah I got hammered again we think that's what that is it's an old blacksmith this is where the wood would be and that's an old blacksmith uh, hammer Preacher getting hammered, man. I tell you what, people are gonna think I'm a crazy preacher. Uh, some type of end to a, I don't know, a flag or a pole. Uh, some type of little, I don't know what that is, um, but but it's neat. Yeah, Heinz uh, uh, cold cream thing. I got me a button. I got me a lid. I got me a big button or some type of uh, button. Got me a powder flask top. That's my oldest relic for the day. And then this uh, Victorian, we don't know if it's a brooch or if it's just a hairpiece or or what. But if you know what that is, comment below. And uh, <clears throat> I'll come back to my coins. This is uh, Spencer's. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Wheaties. So he beat me by two. He got two v nickels what's uh, what were they 1911 uh 1897 i think 18 1800s one. wow and i walked right over that one too he got him a nice little uh uh token or something i'm not sure what that is but it's really nice uh maybe what did it say i don't know it's a come grow dallas or something yeah got him a buckle some piece of copper here with some type of end to it we don't know what that is there's my five Wheaties. My oldest one was a 1910 that I saw. They got two more that I didn't get the dates off of. It's too corroded. I got a buckle, a buffalo nickel spill, two in one hole. And then just about 10 feet away, I've got another one. Then we went and we knocked on this house right here. And this is where we found our silver. And so I got a 1941 Merc. And then I got another 1941 Merc. And then my find of the day is going to be this sterling silver boy scout or cub scout uh, cub scout bsa boy scouts of america ring it is a size number seven it says sterling right in there so i like that i'll put that with my boy scout display and so there's all the trash and there's all the treasures I always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can find at a house. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Till we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.